Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss on the topic reproduction in organisms and this video is presented to you by www.examhead.com. So as in our previous video we have discussed the pre-fertilization event. Now we are going to discuss fertilization. So what is fertilization? It is the complete fusion of male and female gamete. Male gamete which is sperm and female gamete which is ovum. And both fuses to form zygote. The other name of fertilization is syngamy. So syngamy is of two types with the regard of the source of fusing gamete, autogamy and allogamy. So autogamy is called self fertilization and allogamy is called cross fertilization. So this autogamy occur mostly in hermaphrodite which are uniparental having male and female uh, reproductive organ in the same individual. So in this the male and female gamete fuses in the same parent and thus the zygote is formed. Allogamy is cross fertilization in which the fusion of two gametes take place in which the male and female gamete are present in the different parents thus it is biparental. For example in dioecious plant which having the male and female organ on the separate individual and in all the species in which the uh, male and female are separate individual but the cross fertilization also occur in some hermaphrodites like earthworm and leech because their male and female reproductive organ mature at different time okay now where does syngamy occur so syngamy may be internal or external so first of all we will discuss the external fertilization or external syngamy. So in this type of fertilization an external medium is required because this type of fertilization take place outside the body of the organism. So the zygote formed is outside the body of the female organism. So in this diagram you can see this is a male frog and this is female. both release their gamete into the surrounding water this is a sperm this is ovum and then these gamete fuses to form zygote okay but the disadvantage is that the offspring is vulnerable to the predators so this zygote is free, uh, freely floating in the water so any other predator can uh, eat this like fishes okay now in internal fertilization in this the fertilization occur inside the body of an organism inside the body of female organism so in this the egg is formed inside the body uh, of female which is stationary and uh, fuses with the male gamete which is motile. The more precise word of egg we will use ovum which is produced inside the body of female uh, organism and uh, the at the time of mating the sperms enter into the body of female which is motile. So these sperms as flagella have tail through which they can float easily and they reaches towards the female gamete which is ovum and then this uh, fusion will take place after which the zygote is formed and the development of zygote take place inside the body of female organism. So it is uh, seen in fungi, higher plants, bryophytes, stratophytes, gymnosperm and angiosperm. In flowering plant also now we will see the example of a flowering plant this is the female organ having ovary inside the ovary they have ovules these are the ovules and this is the male organ this is uh, the female organ and this is the male organ which is a stamen having anther anther produces pollen grain and these pollen grain contain male gamete so this male gamete 
ट्रांसफर टू द आर्मोटाइल एंड ट्रांसफर विद द हेल्प ऑफ विंड वाटर एंड आर प्रोड्यूस इन थाउजेंड्स ऑफ नंबर एंड देन इट डिपॉजिटेड ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द फीमेल गैमिट विच इज स्टिग्मा आफ्टर विच द मेल गैमिट इज रिलीज फ्रॉम द पॉलिन ग्रेन एंड फ्यूजेज विद द फीमेल गैमिट फॉर्मिंग द जायवा सो दिस इज ऑल्सो इंटरनल फर्टिलाइजेशन Now, what would happen if syngamy does not occur? So, in most of the, in some of the cases, there uh, there is no uh, introduction of uh, male organ or uh, male uh, gamete, which is a sperm. So, in some organism, the development of ovum or egg into a complete individual without any fertilization of sperm is known as parthenogenesis. So, in this because no male gamete is required so the individual is uh, a clone of uh, uh, the, the female organism so this example is rotifer honey bees and some lizards bird in turkey it can be seen and indian snake okay now parthenogenesis is of three type on the basis of the sex of offspring Erinotoki in this only males are parthenogenetically produced the example is honey bee parasitic wasp apis indica is the scientific name of honey bee thylotoki in this only female are parthenogenetically produced okay amphitoki in this the parthenogenetically egg can be developed into any sex like in any male or female so the disadvantage of uh, this type of fertilization is uh, uh, the disadvantage of this type of development of an organism is that there is no variation between the parent and the uh, offspring because uh, there is no uh, involvement of any uh, male gamete in this so the variation can occur only due to mutation now post fertilization event so the event which is taking place after the zygote is formed is called post fertilization event so after the fertilization the zygote is formed now we will see the characteristics of zygote so after sexual reproduction when the uh, fusion of male and female gamete uh, take place the diploid zygote is form in all the organism so the male ga uh, gametes are haploid so when the haploid gametes fuse they form a diploid zygote if external fertilization the zygote will form in the external medium and if internal fertilization then the zygote will form inside the body of female organism so the development of zygote depend on the life cycle of an organism and the environment in which it is exposed in some algae fungi zygote develop a thick wall that is resistant to desiccation damage and goes into the period of rest so this is the zygote it will develop a thick coat around it this is the thick coat which protect it from the adverse condition in environment like desiccation and damage any kind of the zygote genome is the combination com combination of dna of the gamete of male and female containing the genetic information from both the individual and form a new individual so the zygote is the earliest development stage in the multicellular organism the zygote is single cell it is unicellular and it is the earliest stage in all the multicellular organisms so um, at the early stage all the multicellular organism is basically the unicellular organism after which the mitosis uh, division mito uh, mitotic division will take place which is the uh, and 
this mitotic division will form and uh, an embryo now next we will study embryogenesis so the development of embryo from the zygote is called embryogenesis when the zygote divide mitotically continuously and form a mass of cell then that mass of cell is called embryo like this is zygote which is formed after the fusion of male and female gamete this is zygote this is the single cell unicellular and after which it divide mitotically mitotic division will take place which is the asexual division it will form two cell then it will form four cell then it will form eight cell and likewise it will form a mass of cell so this mass of cell is called embryo this mass of cell is called embryo okay so during embryogenesis zygote undergoes cell division the cell divides continuously and increases its number and cell differentiation in which the cell modify into specialized tissue and organ now on the basis of the development of embryo animals are categorized as oviparous and viviparous so the oviparous organism are those uh in which the fertilized egg is covered with a hard protective covering which is a calcareous shell like this this is a, this is egg of hen so the egg laying organism is called oviparous and the organism which give direct birth to an individual is called viviparous so in oviparous the uh, development of fertilized egg or the development of zygote take place uh, inside this calcareous uh, shell it is made up of calcium and this is the protective covering uh, which uh, protect uh, which protect the young one from the adverse environmental condition and in viviparous the zygote develop inside the body of the female organism so the chance of surviving of new young one is more in viviparous than oviparous so the example of oviparous is reptile fishes amphibian and egg laying birds and the example of viviparous is mammals like human elephant etc now in flowering plant the zygote is formed inside the ovule once the fertilization take place once the male and female gamete in flowering plant fuses and form a zygote then the zygote formed inside the ovule after fertilization now you can consider this is a uh, consider it as a flower this is flower having sepals and petals and the male reproductive organ stamen this is the female reproductive organ containing ovule inside it the ovary and after the fertilization this uh, uh, zygote will develop inside this ovule okay then this petals and sepal and the male reproductive organ will fall and only this will remain and this will develop so the zygote will develop into embryo and ovule will develop into seed and ovary will develop into fruit as you can see in this diagram these are the ovules which develop into seed and the ovary is developed into fruit it has three layer exocarp which is the outer layer endocarp which is the inner layer mesocarp which is the middle layer and the whole combinedly these three are called pericarp Thank you for watching this video subscribe exam hai on youtube like our videos and comment